Oh, hello there, my lovely. Take a seat. What brings you here to me today? Oh, okay, so you've got some ear pain. All right. Any other symptoms? Okay, your ears just feel a bit blocked and uncomfortable. Okay, how long have you had this? All right, okay. Have you had ear problems before? Okay. All right then. Okay. So I'm going to give you a little check over. You've not had a cold or anything, have you? Temperature, my lovely. Okay, just to make sure there's nothing going on there. All right. Okay. Just going to pop it into your ear. A couple of beeps. Okay. That's fine. Okay, let me just have a little feel of your lymph nodes. Anything sore? Okay. Any pain or tenderness around your face at all? So, have you been swimming or doing anything underwater? Right, do you wear in-ear headphones a lot? Okay. Have you been putting any Q-tips down your ears? Occasionally. Alright, okay. I'll take a look down your ears now, of course, but be mindful that Q-tips shouldn't go down your ears, they're just for the outer ear, okay, they can push wax further down and cause a lot of irritation, yeah, okay, but I'll take a good look at your ears, I'll have a little feel around your ears first, okay, yeah, all right, just you relax there, I'm just going to have a little press around, Tell me if anything's uncomfortable, won't you, my lovely? Nothing felt uncomfortable there. Good. I'll check this side now.
so no real pain or tenderness there. Good. So I'm just going to take a look with this otoscope and it's going to shine a light down your ears and let me have a look down to see what's going on. See if we can see what's causing you all that discomfort, my lovely. Okay? Perfect. Right. I'll start with this side. Okay? Right then. It's going to get right round the side here. I'll just pull up and back very gently on your ear, my lovely. And then I'll insert the otoscope. Here we go. Okay. Nice and still for me. Try not to move and just pop up your hand if you're uncomfortable. Okay. Here we go. Right. The ear canal looks a little red. And there's a lot of impacted wax down there. I'm guessing you put in the Q-tips as Push that further down when you've popped them in your ear. Okay. Just reposition. The redness is probably from the inflammation of the impacted wax. I can't even see your eardrum. So we're going to have to get that looked at, I'm afraid, my lovely. Okay. Well done. So there is a lot of wax down there. Yeah. And if we leave it, you're going to lose your hearing, you're going to probably get an infection. It's already looking quite red. Yeah. Okay, I'll take a look in your right ear now. All right. Okay. Same again, my lovely. Just going to pull up and back and insert the endoscope. again here I'm afraid. A very red ear canal. And lots of impacted wax. Can't see anything of your eardrum. the wax down with q-tips. We do need to get this looked at ASAP. I'll withdraw that now. Okay. Okay. You okay there? Good. Let's turn that off. So as I've said, you've got lots and lots of impacted wax down there. Yeah. Now you're going to have to have those cleaned. Okay. Now I don't have the time to do that at the moment, I'm afraid, but Dr. Tinglestorm can do that for you. She'll be able to see you and get all that wax out and make you feel so much better. She's absolutely lovely. Yeah. She's the best person for the job. Yeah. Is that okay with you? Okay. I'll just send Dr. Tinglestorm a message. A few little notes. Okay. So, you've 
got nothing to worry about. It's not going to hurt you at all. You'll feel so much better afterwards. I promise you. Okay, so if you'd like to wait outside, the lovely Dr. Dinglestone will come and get you and take care of you. All right? Okay then, my lovely. Take care. Oh, hello there, my lovely. Make yourself comfortable there. I can see that you've been sent to me from the lovely Dr. Tinglestorm. Yeah? She's lovely, isn't she? And you've got some problems with your ears being clogged. And you've got intermittent hair loss, is that right? Okay. Well, I've had some wonderful notes sent across from Dr. Tinglestorm. So I know exactly what I need to do with you, all right? So she sent you to me, as you know, for an ear cleaning. So that's what I'm going to proceed with, if that's okay with you. Okay. Right, do you have a latex allergy at all? No? Okay, that's fine. I'm just going to pop some gloves on. just have to check because some people do have allergic reactions to latex gloves and we do have other kinds available. Okay. Right then. I'm going to take just a very quick look down your ears. I know Dr. Tinglestorm has done a very, very thorough check, but I just want to check for myself just to see how much wax is down there okay is that all right i'll be very gentle because i know you've had a lot going on down your ears already recently okay all right so you just keep nice and still for me i'm just going to be using this otoscope it has a little light and it goes inside your ear canal but i know dr tinglestorm has already used one of these hasn't she in your ears Pop up your hand if anything feels uncomfortable, but please keep still. Okay, I'll be very quick. Okay, my lovely, so I'm just going to pull up and back very gently on your ear and just insert that. disputing anything Dr. Tinglestorm has said because she's amazing and indeed your ears are very clogged. Okay, I'll withdraw that now. Okay. Was that okay for you, my lovely? All right, let me take a look at your right ear. Okay, so to remove that wax I first need to put some very special drops down your ears, okay? They're going to fizz and crackle, but they won't hurt you at all, okay? Just have to make sure that they're well mixed up. and still and I'll just pop some in your left ear first okay here we go there's 
There's one. And two. You can hear the face? Perfect. Okay, here's one. And two. Okay then. You feeling okay? Good, good. So, I'll be doing a little bit of picking around in your ears, okay? Yeah, I'll try my very best not to hurt. Sometimes it can be a little bit tender when there's been so much wax down there. But please again, keep your head still and just pop up your hand if you're uncomfortable. Alright, so I'm just going to pop a cover around each ear, just so I don't get anything onto your clothing there. All right, okay. Just pop that on there. Perfect. And we'll get one for the other side. Those drops should have worked their magic by now. All right, so I'm going to start by using this tool here. Okay, it's a special spoon shaped tool. All right, and I'll just gently work my way around in the ear. Okay, good. Okay, so you just keep nice and still, my lovely, and I'll have a little. There's a lot of wax come out of there now. Okay, the next thing I'm going to use is a special little brush. Okay, and this is just going to go round the ear canal very gently and pick up any bits that I couldn't get. Okay.
going to take another little look down your ear now. Just relax there, just popping this in. Okay. That's much better. I can see your eardrum now and the structures behind. So that's really good. There's no damage to your eardrum. Perfect. That's perfect. Right. You'll be hearing so much better. I'm going to withdraw that now. There we go. Doing well there. Okay, wonderful. So I'm just going to pop round to your right ear now and repeat the process, okay? Do you need a break or are you all good? Alright. Remember, pop up the hand if you're not comfortable. Use the little brush again, be okay. see the eardrum on this side, all healthy with the structures behind it, all visible. Absolutely perfect. Okay. Just right How are you feeling? Perfect. Right, I'll send some notes back to Dr. Tinglestorm. Okay, I'm just going to give your ears a little puff of air just to remove any excess that might be around the external ear. Alright, and now I'll remove the covers. Okay? Right, we'll start with your right ear.
you like that? It's nice, isn't it? Gentle puff of air. If you're feeling fine and not dizzy in any way, no? Okay, well, you're free to go on your merry way. Any problems, you can always call myself or the very lovely Dr. Tingle Storm again. I'm sure you'd love to see her again, wouldn't you? Yeah. Okay, so hopefully things will be fine for you now. All right, but always get in touch if you've got any further problems. Okay. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take care. Bye-bye.